a great person once said about dream so what is a dream so dream is not what you see in your sleep dream is such or dream is that that makes you you know like rise and awake so this person had a dream for this country and uh, probably i don't know he was mad he wrote a book by 2020 india would go skyrocketing and he is famously termed as a missile man who is that and he, if you read through his book he has given sufficient importance for the field of science and technology precisely to engineering and if you see the world economic reports it says most of the countries like china japan and other top shot countries will become old eventually that is they'll have a large number of old citizens so the youngsters of a country will drive the economic uh, the economy of the country so in that case this world economic forum has come to a conclusion that indians would be the future for the world because most of the engineers scientists and other technocrats will be supplied from india throughout the world so namo clap panna mutu pattade we should have this sensitization in our mind that how are we going to achieve this so as i said earlier you need platforms you need environments for you to flourish definitely institutions like iisc and iit have the best brains in the in the country do you agree or not so just imagine there are lot many gate i mean gate cleared candidates who got selected in this iit definitely he'll be a creamy layer so when you go to such institutions when you are bombarding with ideas when you have people mentors over there who can provide you who can make your idea into a viable project which might fetch you a job opportunity or you might become an entrepreneur so why wait for it so all you need to clear gate is nothing but passion thank you so much i thank uh, james ranjit for giving a wonderful talk and he ha- himself prepared a lot of frequently asked questions and also the myths about the common myths about iits and these job opportunities So next it's time for the next person I welcome Mr Arun George so he did his btech in uh, electric uh, ece in Cochin University of Science and Technology in the year 2005 2009 he also finished um, he cleared his gate exam in the year 2013 with all india rank 1331 and he finished his ms electrical engineering and in communication systems in the year 2013 16 and uh, he worked in robert bosch as a software engineer in the year 2009 2013 and currently he is working as a firmware engineer in max linear technologies from 2016 till date so can we give a huge round of applause and welcome mr arun george Uh, thank you so uh, my name is arun george uh, i finished my ms in electrical engineering uh, from iit madras and the specialization was in communication systems today i will talk about the opportunities other than mtechs mtech and psus that are available once you crack gate so uh, we all know that in order to get into the premier institutes uh, and secure an admission for mtech or to get into the psus we have to secure a rank which is less than 300 at least but what if uh, you get a rank greater than that so what if you get a four digit rank are there any other opportunities are your dreams already dead then no the answer is no so there are uh, opportunities in pre- uh, provided by these premier institutes itself uh, like ms master of science and um, three year mtech so the master of science pro- uh, program is being provided by iit madras and iit delhi as of now and even iisc uh, 
and this three year mtech program is being provided by iit bombay and iit hyderabad and other iits are also thinking of uh, adding these programs into their curriculum so uh, about the ms program it's actually uh, like the ms by research program uh, ms by project program provided by these foreign institutes the duration of the program is uh, for 2 to 3 years usually it takes around 3 years to complete it and this is uh, something like a mini phd program so if you are a person uh, who is interested too much in the concepts of uh, uh, concepts and ideas in a particular uh, specific area of interest then ms is a, a good choice for you especially for people who are looking for uh, opportunities in academia and pursue a phd after their uh, post graduation this is the best program uh, if you uh, know uh, the 2013 first first rank holder in gate opted for ms uh, in vlsa systems in iit madras and now he is pursuing his phd there and the other opportunities that are available with uh, ms is um, either you can pursue your ms finish it join uh, for phd uh, in india or abroad or along with your uh, while you are doing your research work uh, for ms uh, you can convert it to a phd in the same institute maybe in iit madras or iit delhi or iis itself then the um, procedure for application of ms is like in the websites of these uh, iits or iiss they will uh, put a separate notification for this 3 year mtech or uh, ms program the recruitment for ms program happens twice uh, during july as well as uh, in december i mean in june as well as in december so you have to always uh, get updated with the uh, notifications in these websites then apply for that in the websites itself they will be mentioning about the way of preparation for ms uh, like the uh, subjects that you have to concentrate and the textbooks that we ha you have to uh, follow for uh, preparing the examination um, for uh, communication there are only four subjects uh, linear algebra uh, uh, probability communication systems and uh, di uh, digital signal processing then you have to prepare for that and uh, go for the test the test will be a descriptive kind of test uh, in which all the concepts will be thoroughly uh, scrutinized and uh, so many questions will be asked you have to all, all these questions will be subjective questions and based on this um, uh, based on uh, the uh, test actually there will be an interview round uh, mostly around uh, two to three panels will be there and in each panel some four to five professors will be sitting and uh, uh, the interview is going to be taking at least half an hour in each and every panel then you will be recruited under a particular guide a, a particular professor who will be who will be your research guide and, uh, and and the first year of your uh, first two semesters of your course you will be going through the coursework and uh, taking some subjects specifically which will be required for the ms unlike mtech it's this is not uh, a course oriented program the courses that you will be taking will be specifically for the research that you are going to do for mtech uh, uh, if there will be around 11 courses which has to be done but for ms there will be only 6 to 7 courses which has to be done and then straight away you start with the uh, research and uh, go on finishing it uh, you have to submit the thesis along with that you have to produce some publications so once you are coming out with uh, this uh, decent good publications there is a very good opportunity that you can apply for uh, phd op uh, opportunities abroad also then um, if if you are uh, looking for other opportunities other than uh, this um, phd or uh, academics also uh, you can end, uh, go, go into the industry itself so if you see uh, nowadays uh, the opportunities provided for uh, ms is uh, at par with the mtech uh, graduate itself and uh, the average salary is always greater than i mean you will you you will be guaranteed to get a salary greater than 8 lakhs per annum and the average salary is around uh, 10 lakhs per i mean greater than 10 lakhs per annum and uh, a little bit on my uh, preparation as already told i road gate 3 years Oh no, four years uh, four years after my uh, BTEC, so I was uh, preparing uh, parallel in parallel with my job. I was working in uh, Bosch uh, Coimbatore, so uh, I was actually perplexed on how to start my preparations. I had this aim uh, to crack gate 2013, but how to do that? Actually, I was a little bit perplexed, and I came to Gate Forum and got the materials and started preparing uh, nine months ahead of time. 
so uh, the courses were starting uh, the classes were starting at in the month of uh, june by the end of june but i started my preparations way ahead uh, in may first week itself so uh, i followed the uh, get for, uh, get for material for uh, preparing the uh, for getting a short overview of the subject and followed some standard textbooks for building the concepts then um, uh, per day you have to uh give at least one hour consistently uh, uh for the preparations uh, two hours is, is ideal uh, if you are a person uh, who is who has already taken a break from the academia then the important thing is that yeah you can keep on learning but unless and until you are solving questions it's of no use because uh, even if you have concepts if you don't have you know speed to uh, answer the questions or you don't uh, know the uh, way in which you have to uh, answer these multiple choice questions it's of no use so uh, once after you are finishing the uh, subject you have to uh take questions uh and uh, solve as many questions as possible uh, this uh, actually you can uh, provide a, uh, actually you can do it in uh, three steps uh, first you can uh, study a particular topic and then uh, solve the questions then a particular subject and then the complete uh, 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 get question paper format uh, questions so for uh, for solving this subject wise questions and um, uh, topic wise questions the questions will be already provided in the get for material itself that you can uh, uh, follow it uh, that is very good and uh, for solving the uh, um, complete get get question paper format you can follow the target i i used to take the target it was uh, very useful and um, uh, you will get actually a ranking uh, the a national level ranking on which you will come to know what will be your position uh, in get so always uh, and it can give you some competitive mind so that even if you are feeling a little bit down that can motivate you and then keep on uh, doing the preparation in order to achieve your aim then um yeah i was taking the uh, weekly uh, weekend classes here saturdays and sundays so uh, the faculties will come and teach you on uh, sa saturdays and sundays they will give a really good brief overview over the subject uh, that has to be uh, i mean the topic that uh, has to be studied each and every week but unless and until you go and do your homework uh, by preparing it from some standard textbooks and uh, building concepts on top of that uh, it, uh, it will not be useful so uh, along with the classes you have to prepare on your own and um, of course uh, i use uh, i had some uh, misconceptions in the uh, subjects as well as uh, i had some difficulty in uh, um, learning it uh, again after some uh, after a break of 3 uh, and a half years but uh, of course i used to go and ask questions to the faculty at the uh, next uh, week itself and uh, used to clarify um, uh, the concepts and um, get to, uh, and also used to ask uh, how to uh, solve one, uh, some uh, particular questions and any shortcuts and all so that was very useful so i what i would like to tell is like if you are a person who like uh, who are really strong in concepts and uh, if you are a little bit weak in uh, answering uh, multiple choice questions then don't worry there are still opportunities uh, and if you are a person who are look, who is looking into this uh, research and phd kind of opportunities always you can uh, opt for this uh, ms programs in this premier institutes so um, i would like to thank get forum for the opportunity uh, to, uh, to share my uh, share my experience here and also helping me crack uh, get uh, 2013 and i wish you all the best Thank you Mr. Arun George